So just sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea, maybe a shot of vodka, whatever you, whatever you prefer. <laughs> Hennessy, I don't mind. Maybe you can go for something a bit healthier, like water, lemon, ginger, anything. Pick your poison in it, and then just get back. Hello. <laughs> you caught me. Look at me in all my mess. Um, I'm actually pretty ashamed to show you this. This is my working space, but come in. It's literally, I don't know if you can fit to be honest. Like, <laughs> it's a bit mad. I just literally surround myself in papers, brushes, old work, unfinished work, current work, and things. But it's getting too small for me. I'm literally outgrowing it. I had it for like five years. My mum kindly cordoned off a whole room for me. It was like, it used to be a bathroom actually. And she made, she changed the bathroom around and then made this my studio. And at the time I was working really small. So this is it, I had my big desk. I had all this space, I had half the workload. So I was just, it was heaven. And slowly and slowly it's become cramped and it's become my mother's hell. She can't even face, stand looking at this room like it's too much for her. Um, yeah, it's not far from my room. I walk all of about 10 steps to get here. So you can imagine how convenient it is to have your workspace so close to your bed. It's as and when and I find that really good for me because I have days when I just, I don't want to be in here and there's days when I don't want to leave. And it's easy to think I can just be here for like hours on end and not have to worry about getting a bus home or driving home tired. I just walk, drag, turn off the light and I'm done. At the moment, um, I'm working on this piece that is killing me, literally like, don't let anyone kid you. Paintings take forever, especially like anything of this size. Like I've, I've stopped and started because sometimes you just can't stay doing one thing. Like it ruins your eyesight. You have to walk away from it and come back. Um, but yeah, like I'm on the tightest deadline right now and trust me to do that. It's called Bonds because it's all about their bonds um, and it's for the BP uh, portrait exhibition that was a competition actually. And yeah, so first prize is 30 grand. So we be hoping and we be praying that I get it because who wouldn't want 30 grand? Do you know what I mean? Even if I don't win, I'd be really happy because I get to be exhibited at the National Portrait Gallery and that's just like a dream. Like right in the middle of Trafalgar Square, like everyone could come and see this painting. So I need all your well wishes guys because I ended like two years ago and it didn't go to plan, but that's okay. You get up and you do it all again. So yeah, um, I'm just like battling between these two because like this is almost ready-ish. This has got so much to do and I've got little notes on what needs to be done for both of them. I'll let you know how it goes, but if like nothing comes of this, like just assume my silence on the matter is just that like, it was a bit, you know, we won't talk about it. But if you hear me say something, then it's a good thing. You know what I find hilarious is when I see pictures on Instagram of um, people, of girls and boys actually like, look, like naked, looking so buff, stood in front of their, their canvas like, pretending to work. No one looks nice in the midst of working. I'm telling you that for a fact. But who am I showing off for? It's just me in this room. Like it's very isolated, but it's just hilarious. Cause whenever you put the picture up, you have to like 
stunt in it, but it just doesn't look like that. The process, it's all a lie, guys, it's all a lie. The process is very ugly. If you catch me on a painting day, understand that in it. Like, you're not getting buff airy, but that's fine. <laughs> Jealousy when a smoke clears and a high shouts how low people pretend to be. Bitter spirits may taste, bitter ends. This music shit is friendly, but these people are not your friends. I don't need you to show face, my brother. I'm easy. Basically, 
We've only arrived here. We're on our charity hustle. Charity Parents. shop hustle, should I say? There's one shop, yeah, they always have bang and stuff. Um, in life, yeah, when you're doing, if you're on the charity shop life, as I am, as we are, hmm. um, always try and go in areas that have like money. The, the money. Because naturally, Red. they're going to give away good things. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, thinking like, that they're crud, but yeah. they're not crud. It's like you're thinking, oh, I'm done with this, and you're thinking, you're done? <laughs> okay, I'll cool. take that from you. Frugal shopping that benefits others. I mean, or what else do you want in life? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe some Prada, yeah. Maybe some Gooch. <laughs> some until, Gooch. Until then, <laughs> you might find there. Like, yeah, you might find some there. Nothing. You actually might find it if you're in the right places. So mm -hmm. we're about to see. We're about to see. We will see. Love is always there. Sarah, this joke. This coat is not a joke. It's so cool and it's thick. glass here yeah? and we were just innocently walking by yeah it almost just fell on our heads no literally we escaped it by like this much yeah. everyone just looked up like <laughs> like what happened and i was like we well, have no beef here so what what why whoever's was trying to come at me bruv come at me then no time. Time. i'm indestructible <laughs> i need to make this right it's a, I'm, I'm sure it's too good for me but mate the combo is fire <laughs> i'm about to go straight i just love it like I need somewhere that's like requires me to be like. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being with us on this journey. And see you next week. Same time, same day, same place.